I think there's a pretty serious problem that started happening in programming culture. I mean, it's been, it's been in programming for as long as I've been in. And this is beyond games, even. This is everywhere. Yeah. Um, people don't have a clear picture of what knowledge is deep versus what knowledge is shallow, right? So if you, if you go to school and you're a good student and you learn the difference between n log n and n squared, right? <laughs> That's deep knowledge that will apply in many cases, and it's something fundamental about computers, right? Um, on the other hand, if you go on Hacker News and read an article about somebody learning a specific JavaScript API and tutorializing it, right? That's very shallow knowledge because it's just, you're, you're learning about arbitrary decisions that somebody made about how to interface with a thing that you're not even trying to understand. Right? And that, but that knowledge became very popular since, let's say, since 2005. Once, once this second boom of programming happened and everybody realized, oh, you can make a lot of money in programming or whatever, all these people showed up and they just want the job where they could do JavaScript and so they just learned the API, right? And so th there's been a deluge of shallow knowledge. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than that because part of the way that you learn deep knowledge is by looking at shallow things and reading the pattern underneath. Like, if there's an API to do something, if it's a good API, then by looking at the API choices, you can understand the problem yeah. and the mechanic. Even if you can't see the code, it's better if you could see the code inside. But if you can't, you can still f see some things about the mechanics. And, yeah. you know, one example of that is a graphics API. It's like, okay, they want me to, like, put the vertex data into a buffer and like lock the buffer and then not touch it. Why is that? Oh, it's going to the GPU and all this stuff, right? You can figure this out. On the other hand, if it's a bad API, which most APIs are, it'll be full of stuff that's stupid. And, um, or even cargo culting where they're copying a good API. So my favorite example of this was when Microsoft did Direct2D, which was taking Direct3D, which was successful, and then trying to add font rendering and all that to that, they made um, an ARGB color, right? So red, green, blue, and alpha, oh. a lockable resource. So to create one of these, you had to like lock it and fill the color data and unlock it. And I'm like, you have no idea what you're doing. And I actually told Microsoft this and they didn't, <laughs> they did not like my opinion on that. Um, but they were just copying, oh, Direct3D has you lock things and fill them. And so let's do that here. And it was completely absurd. So, um, so how to fix it, we, there just isn't much of an idea right now of what an actual respectable engineer is, you know? Like if you think back to like civil engineering, like people who build bridges or whatever, you think of people who are responsible and know things well and, and make sure they're right because it's important to be right. We don't really have that in software at all. It's completely dead as far as I can tell. And part of the reason it's dead is because nobody can tell what's right because it's just a bunch of people arguing in a loud room and, nah, 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 and yeah. like no real information gets through. And if anybody has an idea how to solve that, <laughs> I would love to hear that idea. I don't know. The only way that I know to solve it is to just do better in an obvious way. And, but even that maybe doesn't win, right? Because all these JavaScript frameworks are still popular even though they're all yeah, the same as each other, right? You have NPMs to just to pad things because no yeah. one wants to write code anymore. And in the same way the market can remain irrational longer than you could remain solvent, um, I think software industry culture could remain stupid longer than you're alive. Like, that's just possible. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm doing what I can do, but I'm very conscious that I have a limited ability to affect this giant thing. 